prime example of what we can eat and what we can't eat. Okay. Okay. So this is called a false trumpet or a um, a false horn of plenty because there's horn of plenty mushrooms that kind of come up and open okay. and they're brown. I'm not going to touch it, but is it softer right now? Is okay. that a newer mushroom, even though it's black? Uh, it, it is, actually. It's, it's not. Okay. Yeah, it's, well, look at the skin. Right. That is black. And then, as you peel in, Grandpa always used to say, if you could peel the skin off a mushroom, like in huge chunks, it's edible. If it comes out in strips and stringy, no. Also, the actual black, because it grows black, you see it. That's a good indicator. It's probably gonna kill you. Right. And then you smell the rotty metallic oh, yeah. smell. Yeah. yeah, that just tells okay. you no. Okay. All right, so here's the example of what we can eat. Let me grab one of these so, that haven't been touched by the hands of yeah, the- uh, Yeah, the death mushroom. The, the death mu yeah. mushroom right there. Okay. Um, so and I do know what this is. You do know what that is, and you smell oh, it. it. Smells strong. great. Yeah, yeah. You smell it. Mm-hmm. It's spearmint, and you know it's the the identifier, guys, is in the name. Spear, spear leaf. Remember we were talking about those spear and arrowhead leaves, and right here, man, this is the best part of those early spring ones because they're sweet, and yeah, juicy, and That's they're strong. <laughs> I like it. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It makes so, a good tea right there too, wouldn't it? Yes. That'd yes. Awesome. I um so right now you should be able to find your leftover uh red or white pine leaves okay. or pine needles yeah. that are still in the tree. Mix these. Take this handful and a little handful of those, oh, throw the them in water, pine. white or red. Okay. I go for white. Okay. And you make tea. Cool. And that tea is how you know, the Native Americans and early settlers in this area got vitamin C. It was from spearmint. Um, that's awesome. Well, our clover plants and our sorrel and the savory that we found, that's where they got vitamin C because we're not tropical enough to have citrus fruits. Um, and I'll tell you what, wild spearmint and well, I, we're going to find a pine tree and I'm going to make you some tea for lunch. That's awesome. Um, but cool. we, if we look that's in that hill, and you see the sunny, the spots where the sun's kind of illuminating and it's kind of you got brambles, but there's opening areas. Those open areas is where you'll find this. Okay. And once you find one, because they roots and connect and grow and spread out, you'll find plenty more. Okay. You can find handfuls of this stuff right now. That's that's awesome. I like it. Um. Good. So medicinal value, digestive aid, um, and you know it. It kind of, I don't know about you, but I mean, I feel very fresh and minty right now. Oh, yeah. And my mouth is a little, it's not stingy, but it's like when you get that really strong mouthwash and you kind of got that tingly. Yeah, well, that's well said, yeah. Antiseptic. Spearmint and mint have antiseptic in them. You can take this plant, let's see. Oh, perfect. I'll hold that. Yep. I'm gonna take some of this stem because I want more of the juice. Now I'm going to squeeze this, see, got that liquid on my fingers, and this is going to actually clean your small scrapes and disinfect them, and hmm. you smell minty. Yeah, everything has a value, man, Eat just more than just eating. It, it, you can use stuff for multiple reasons, and you should when you're in the outdoors.